Whilst the term is sometimes used exclusively to describe a mutualistic relationship, where both symbionts positively impact one another, the term symbiosis more broadly refers to a close or intimate relationship between two members of different species. The term doesn't necessarily refer to a beneficial relationship for both species, and was defined by Heinrich Anton de Bally in 1879 as the living together of unlike organisms. Symbiotic relationships have almost always co-evolved with one another over a long period, but they can either be obligate or facultative. If the relationship is facultative, it means that the species might not necessarily rely on the other species for survival, but does benefit from its presence. The four main types of symbiotic relationships are mutualisms, commensalisms, parasites and immensalisms. The first, mutualisms, are potentially what is most often referred to as a symbiotic relationship, as it is where both species benefit from the relationship, such as nitrogen-fixing bacteria and leguminous plants. The second, commensalism, is where only one species benefits, but the other is neither harmed nor benefited from the presence of the first. This is the case of remora, that ride attached to sharks and other fishes, Potentially the two cases that are least likely to be referred to as a symbiosis are parasites and immensalisms. Parasites are organisms that live on or inside another organism, causing it some harm. But it is important to note that parasites never kill their host. If a parasite was to work by killing its host, it would be known as a parasitoid. The final type is immensalism which is where one species is either harmed or killed by the other, and the other is unaffected. An example of this would be a larger, more mature tree, killing a sapling by depriving it of food and living space.